What's going on YouTube? Today is March 25th and I just finished a solid back, buy, and trap workout, aka pull. And I've posted like six videos on here already and not one of them involve a workout. But today is a different story. I've recorded it and so, well, cue the music. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Shy coming at you with the first workout of this channel and this is a pull day. As you see we're starting with deadlifts, I'm over here working with, uh, warming up with two plates aka 225 pounds, just warming up. I did one plate before this, just gradually working up to my working sets. Now as, speaking of working sets, as you see here, here is, I'm ripping out three plates, I'm gonna sit, hit this for sets of five. So as you see right here, and it's not too heavy, I would say this is about 70% of my max. So as you see, just rubbing the hour, relatively easy. Now, later in the in a later clip, you're gonna see a better view of my form, and I really want to stress to you guys really key things to deadlifting safely without risking yourself for injury. So as you see right here, you have a little better view of my form, and I did 365. So the first sets I was doing 315, and here's 365, and hit this for sets of three. But notice as I come up. Notice I keep my back straight and my arms straight. This is a safe deadlift. You do not want to bend your arms or bend your back because that will risk injury of either tearing a bicep or hurting your back. Anyways, for the fifth and final set, I took it back down to 315 and ripped out five more. Again, see, keep that back straight and the arms straight. This is how you safely deadlift because, I mean, we're in this for longevity, not just to lift 450 pounds in front of our friends one time, you know what I mean? So just keep keep your form safe for a safer deadlift for longevity. Anyways, here is the next movement, a wide grip lat pull down. Notice something about a little bit outside of shoulder width. Now, your grip really depends on your preference. Some people go wider, some people go more narrow. But anyways, I really want to stress that you really want to feel that stretch on the way up. And when you come down, you just want to BAM! Feel that little squeeze in the bottom. Feel that squeeze every time. You really just, don't just go through the motion. You really want to feel it. Just feel it out. And for the next movement, we have another pull down. Except we're using the V bar for a close grip pull down. Now again, when you come up, you really want to feel your lats stretching. When you come down, ready, ready, hold up, ready. Bam! Really feel that. Really feel that contraction of the lats and pull through your elbows. What I like to do is use a thumbless grip for all back movements, including this row right here. Speaking of, and Lula. This is the next movement, the dumbbell row. As you see, I like, I like to put, I like to put a bench in front of me to kind of stable, help stabilize myself. And it's about like, uh, let's say a 45 degree angle. But anyways, what you really want to do here is get that full stretch in the, in each rep. So as you see when I come down, I come all the way down. I don't come halfway down, I come all the way down and then pull back through my elbow. Again, pulling through your elbow and using a thumbless grip will really help you feel that contraction in your back. Because if you feel if you feel your back working, you know it's working. If you just go here and go through the movements, you don't necessarily know if you know if it's working. But if you really if you really focus on feeling your back working, you'll actually you know you're actually working your back. Anyways, the next movement, here is, what do I call this? I guess I call it a long bar underhand cable row. And this really hits those lower lats. So what you want to do is, like I said, use uh, underhand grip, also known as the supinated grip. And again, pull through your elbows. Notice I'm leaning forward a little bit between every rep. That really helps you get that stretch. And then, BAM! Pull back, really pull back through those elbows and really feel those lower lats firing up. And for our next movement, I love this movement. This is a cable, uh, what is this called? A cable pullover. So as you see here, you really want to feel it in your back. And while a, a couple cues I like to keep in mind is just stick my butt out just a little bit in a ever so slight bend in the arms. And you really want to feel, again, pull through your elbows and your lats. You can really pull more through your lats on this one because, um, because just because of the, the form. So you really want to pull through your lats here and keep your keep your arms almost straight, just ever so slight blend. Anyways, so the next movement here is we're hitting traps, we're hitting shrugs, and this time we actually hit this for five sets of 15, just because the range of motion is so short 
and it's really easy to get stronger in shrug, shrugs because again the range of motion and it's the only shrug movement anyways our next movement we're hitting arms or we're hitting our biceps rather now is uh as you see a bicep curl and i really like to use the dumbbell separately as opposed to a barbell i like to do that first just to work the arms separately and as you see he's a hammer curl for a long head of the bicep i'm gonna catch up with myself now all right now here is it's a barbell dumbbell curl as opposed to the dumbbell curls we were doing earlier i like to do this second only because i like to do the dumbbells first to really make sure both arms are working and a good cue to keep in mind while you're doing this is to make sure that bar is straight when that bar is straight it gives you a good idea that both bicep both biceps are working anyways for our final movement we did a reverse grip uh easy bar we did a reverse grip easy bar curl to hit those forearms and the long head of the bicep so this is the last workout of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know if you want more of these videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.